Creating a time scale with React Chart.js. This video will explain how. As you can see here, we have the skills here uh, with the time, and you can see here all these data points have the date as well. So let's start to look then how to use the time scale in a line chart in React Chart. First of all, we're going to draw the chart here. So what I'm going to do here is, and just a quick note, I already installed React Chart.js, so that's already done. I also installed already the Chart.js adapter. I'll talk about it later on more. I'm going to say import, and let's make the line chart first. We're going to say here the line, and you can give it any name you want, but that's fine. Line from React dash chart JS dash number two. So there we are. Now we have this. What I want to as well is we want to import, and what we're going to import is basically all the items from and it is a string value chart JS. And maybe what even makes sense is to move this one even down, I realize. Because chart JS is first, and then you should have this, and then we should load any adapter if ever. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say a chart as chart JS, comma, and then we're going to put in every element that we need. We need a line element, comma, and then right now I will use a category uh, scale. And this one is for the x-axis, but later on we need to convert this into a time scale. That's later on. So I'm just going to put that as a question for an uh, exclamation mark in there as a reminder. Then we have a linear scale for the y-axis because the other one is the x-axis. That's for the y. Then we have here the point element, comma, tooltip because we want to have a tooltip in here, comma, legend. All right, so now we have all of those. Then what I can do here, after all the imports, we want to say here, chart JS dot register. And what we want to do is basically this here is this reference here. We're going to register everything as we just used. And for that, we're going to use here the parentheses. And then I'm just going to copy all of this, put it in there. All right, and then here pro a proper indentation. Now we have this. Now let's start to draw the item here. So for this, I'm going to use here a quick div. And this div will have, of course, our line tag, which is basically the chart itself or the canvas. So in here, I'm going to put an enter because in here, what I want is eventually put in uh, the items or the objects we're going to use. One is of course the data, which will be the data object. And another one will be the options, which is the options object. So there are just two items here. If I save this right now, we get an error because we are returning a value and this value does not, or we haven't defined this defi value yet. So it doesn't exist here, so, so that's why we get the error. So what I'm going to do is before we return, because we don't want to return this object in here, we want to just load it in here and return whatever the value of that object is. So we're going to say a constant data and then here, constant data equals, and this is just an object, basic items from chart.js if you watch all my other videos. Labels, we put in here brackets and we're going to say a Monday. Or what we can do here, instead of Monday, I'm going to put in here the, uh, the date because we will be later converting those into a date. So I'm going to just put in here three specific dates. All right, so let me say here number three and the 2nd of November. And what we want to have here more is comma, and then we're going to put in here the data sets. And this is a bracket, very important, because it's an array. Every data set is an array, and then within here, we can put in the items. So what we're going to say here, um, the data set, let's say, uh, this is the label, because that will be also the value on the legend, and we're just going to put in here 369 for now. That's fine. Then what I want to say here, the data, and the data is an array, and let's put in here value 3, value 6, value 9, and maybe 3.69. So once we have that, comma, the other item is color. Give it a background color for the legend, so background color here, then the legend will the legend box will get a nice color. And let's make this one aqua. Comma. Next, what I want to do is maybe the uh, border color. So we have the line color, and that can be black, solid black. And that should be more than enough 
perhaps a tension line to make the line more elastic. We're going to, instead of straight lines, we're going to make elastic and curved lines of 0 0.4. All right, so once we have this, if I save this, it refreshes, but it gives an error again because we have no options yet. But we have defined now our data. So what I'm going to do here with the options constant, options equals options. And we could leave this blank and it will already draw something. However, um, what I want to do is because I noticed that this scale here on the y-axis doesn't start at zero. And I think that would make a bit more sense to so start at zero instead of the first value it shows or the lowest value it shows on the scale. That's basically how it works. So what I want to do here is options. I'm going to say scales. And I'm going to get a y scale. And say here, begin at zero equals true. If I save this, refresh. Now it moves up here and you can see here we have zero as starting point. All right, we have this now. And the next thing is because, and this is very important, let me just show you where I'm going to grab this. Basically, we've been doing this. Go to the ecosystem and we're going to get the adapter. Yes, and the adapter that I want to use is the date FMS adapter. If I click on this, I already installed this one on my React uh, system, I guess that's what you, what you call it. So this is what I need here, the import chart adapter date fns this will only work of course if you have installed this component very important if you didn't ask, install do this one first i will have a separate video for regarding to this so i'll just copy this here because i already installed this i already installed react chart js2 so all these things are already working and up and running so what i want to do here now is the following we have here this and then i guess we can do here you can do just before you import and then we're going to import, oh, well, sorry, we can just copy this one here completely. I just loaded before this one. And the reason why is because uh, chronological uh, structuring or the logical structure is basically this one first, chart.js, then this, and then all these others. Adapt. This is basically a component or adapter related to both of these. So it makes sense, although it doesn't matter too much. It does work still, but just the logical structure so you know and understand why so right now it's not active yet and if you're very familiar what we have to do here we're going to the x scale we're going to put a comma here and we're going to say here type and we're going to say here the time object and then we can say here the time object we can use or the time scale and you can say here unit will be equal to day this is the normal structure but you will still get an error now and the reason why we have an error is because we are not recognizing this time object yet. Why? Well, remember here I talk about the time scale because this is basically a different item. The category scale is a string value on the x axis that we have. But now what we have to do here is we have to say here, this will be the time scale. Copy this and load that one instead. So we are, this is, that's why tree is shakeable and it can load every one of those independently. And now you can see here, we should get here nicely the date and time. So if I change this here, get another one, let's put another one in here, and this will be 2022, 11 November the 4th, 2022, there you are. And there you are, you can see here, it shows it very nicely. And this is basically how you can use a time scale in a line chart with React Chart.js. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to get the details of these to make these items clickable and then do something. In that case, I have another video that will pop up right now on the screen so you can explore that video as well.